Yo, what's good, Sneaker Log? It's your boy Check. I'm back in with another sneaker video. Hopefully, everybody been cool since the last video. This right here is a random sneaker box. I know it's been a minute since we did that on the channel, but this right here is a treat. So just sit back, hang tight, and I'm going to hit y'all off. So here it is, folks. You guys see it. We got the Adidas KB8, a.k.a. Crazy 8. Yo, this shoe right here, in my opinion, is a classic basketball shoe. When I look at it, it just takes me down memory lane. This is Kobe Bryant's first signature shoe. And around this time, like this era when he was rocking this, man, he was my favorite player, hands down. Anybody who knows me knows that I'm a fan of the young Kobe, like that number eight Kobe. I'm not too much of the Black Mamba, you know what I'm saying, the two four Kobe. But number eight, young Kobe with the fro, to me, that's like one of the best players to ever play. Like talented, skilled, you know what I'm saying, athletic. The dude was, to me, he was a beast. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was a big fan. And, you know, I thought he was the heir apparent to MJ. You feel me? Like, he really did, like, try to mold his game after MJ. You know what I'm saying? So, I was a big fan. And uh, this was kind of like the end of um, the the Bulls, the second run they had of 3 Pete. So, this was kind of like, you know, MJ was about to – about the end of that little run and stuff like that. So, Kobe was emerging, you know what I'm saying, as a, a young star. Um, this shoe, I want to say originally released back in, had to be like 97 or 98 because um, he wore these in the All-Star game. And so, yeah, he wore these, I think, I guess it was the 98 All-Star game because he wore these when he kind of went head up with MJ in the All-Star game. That was pretty dope. They were, you know what I'm saying, they had a couple um, possessions where they went head up on each other and stuff like that. They, you know, were challenging, challenging each other. That's kind of what the people wanted to see. So, that was kind of dope. But uh, what I'm going to do is just go into a little, uh, give you guys an overview. And you guys know how to do it, man. Show you guys the shoe, give you a good look at the shoe. And uh, point out things I like about the shoe and... You know what I'm saying? Give y'all a shot to do that at the end, too, as well. So, let's just jump right into it. And off top, man, the shoe is just real dope to me. Like, as far as for a basketball shoe, this is a 90s basketball shoe. And it was innovative to me because you can see a lot of stuff going on. But with this particular pair, you know what I'm saying, I like that it's predominantly black. Then you had the white, but you got the design on the midsole just... You can see why they call it Crazy 8, you know what I'm saying? Because, well, the real the real reason why they call it Crazy 8 is because Kobe, when they re-released it, um, Kobe actually, you know, he wasn't with them no more. Originally, it was called the KB8, but then they uh, Adidas re-released the shoe, and, you know, he wasn't under contract no more, so they, they're not going to use his name, so they just call it the Crazy 8. And everybody know what it is. But um, the shoe does, you know what I'm saying, kind of have this crazy you know look to it design on the midsole this is like a foamy midsole it's actually pretty comfortable when you put the shoe on they actually they also have um here on the upper they got patent leather and you know a decent tumble as well like shoe is good quality man it's cushiony when you put the shoe on it feels good on your foot you know what i'm saying you can actually, you can really kobe used to ball in these so you could definitely you know what I'm saying? Ball in these joints right here. Here the toe box, leather, all right there. A, a feature that I like on this shoe is the 8. I like that it has the 8 on here because, like like I told y'all, the when he was rocking the 8 jersey, that's when he was, you know what I'm saying, my favorite player. So it was dope. I like that they have the 8 on here. You know what I'm saying? Kind of, I like stuff like that that personalize the shoe. Can, you know what I'm saying? Like a, like a player exclusive, give you that feel like that. Here's the other side of the shoe. Just leather up on the upper, pan leather and that tumble. And then it's a nice grain of leather too. It's, it's real good. This is this shoe right here is perfect for ball. Then you have, you know, this midsole. Here's the outsole as well. With the, here's the bottom. It's got purple, white. They use the same technology. This is that torsion control. The same technology that they use on the Ultra Boost is this is what I'm not, I don't know if it came from this shoe, but they were using this that technology on this shoe. So that, you know what I'm saying, this is back in, like I said, like 97, 98. So that gives you an idea that, you know, this shoe right here got some good, like, 
uh, tech on it because they really did their thing with this shoe. This was Adidas. I want to say this was like their first like big time uh, basketball signing. You know, I know they had Patrick Ewing, but um, in like the '80s, I believe. But I think this was probably their like biggest signing. So I think they went kind of with basketball anyway. I think this they kind of went uh, all out with this uh with this shoe and they actually did a good job here's the back you got you know what i'm saying you got the adidas symbol you got the pull tab and this is you know what i'm saying this is lakers colors you see a little purple and gold and stuff but it, the thing i like about it that it's not like overwhelming because i'm not like a big like i'm not like a laker fan or nothing i just you know what i'm saying i like kobe shoes I mean, I like Kobe Bryant, the player. And so I think that it was cool that they put that on the shoe to kind of personalize it, but it didn't overbear it with it. Like, it's actually, it works. Just little hits. Here's the tongue, Adidas with the purple and gold, white, black. It's a dope shoe, man. Like I said, the shoe actually has a good fit. Uh, let me show you guys the box real quick. Here's the box top. Right there with the green and black, just the you know the little Adidas uh, stripes, not the classic three stripes, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Here is the box sticker. Uh, no, let me see. Oh, here's the colors right here. But like I said, the crazy eight, and then it's a uh, black one, black one. I don't know what this is. R G P U N B. But um, yeah, crazy eight. Uh, cause these shoes. This is actually from the re-release. I want to say this was a this was a couple years ago. I got these. Man, this probably was. I can't remember exactly, man. And it could have been like 2011 or yeah, I think it was 2011 when I got these. And um, I got them for retail. There wasn't no uh, retail sticker on the. There wasn't no retail sticker price on the uh, box, but. I can't remember how much I, I got these for. I know I paid retail, so it was probably like 110 or 100 something like that. Can't remember exactly. But um, didn't mind it because this was a dope shoe. This was one that I kind of um, I kind of wanted them to bring back for a while. Like, I just, you know how sometimes you think about stuff that um, you would like, you know what I'm saying, them to bring out, but you don't really think they would ever even think about doing it. Well, they kind of, you know, when, that, when I found out that these were dropping, I was on them. Because this was something that, you know what I'm saying, I just wanted to add to the collection. They dead stock. Like, I still ain't rocked them yet. Shoot, I still got even this tag right here. <laughs> but um, I just wanted to pull them out, you know what I'm saying, pull them out the vault and um, put them up on the channel. Because, you know what I'm saying, Kobe, man, he, he like I said, I'm not really... I'm not really a big fan of him. Like, uh, I was a big fan of him when I was younger. You know what I'm saying? When he was younger. But, um, you know, he, he's leaving the game. You know what I'm saying? He retired. He just had a big game the other day. I know you guys saw that, man, or heard about it by now. How you about to retire your last game? You dropped 60. You know what I'm saying? The team, the team was trash all season. Like, that was the worst Lakers team in history, last game, this man, everybody know this guy's offense, but this year, you know what I'm saying, his last year, he older, he was kind of injured, broken down or whatever, so, you know, he had, he had flashes where he showed, you know what I'm saying, he could still play, but who would have thought, you know what's crazy about that, I was telling people, you know what I'm saying, that day, that that man was going to go for 82, you know what I'm saying, because, you know, he got the... It's not the record, but he got um, he scored eighty one in the game. So I was telling people, yo, he gonna he gonna go for eighty two last game. You feel me? This is the last game he at home. He gonna go for eighty two on these guys, and uh, you know people laughed and stuff like that, man. But hey, I was off by twenty, but that man went for sixty. You feel me? That that's the highest points for this season. <laughs> it's crazy, man. When you think about it, the the, the, the guy can put the ball in the in the hole, you know what I'm saying? He's not the most efficient player when it comes to shooting and stuff like that, but the man can put the ball in the hole, you feel me? But um, 
he had a great career, man. Like twenty seasons. That's I mean, I know the, the latter part was injuries and stuff like that, a lot of drama and stuff. But um, you know, if you look at the whole, you know what I'm saying, the the complete uh resume, he had a great career. You know what I'm saying? One of the all time great careers. And uh, you know, it's gonna be crazy seeing him gone. I mean, we know it's time, but it's gonna be different. You feel me? Twenty years, that's a long time. But um hey, it is what it is, man. Uh, there's some young guys ready to take that spot. You know what I'm saying? Steph Curry, James Harden, that's my guy. She, uh, they they facing off uh, first round. We're going to see how that go. But um, plenty of guys. LeBron, you know what I'm saying? KD, Westbrook, that's my guy too. But, yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be kind of weird not seeing Kobe out there. But we haven't really been seeing him the past few seasons anyway. But, uh, yeah, that's it. That's all I got for this video, man, the KB8. Uh, Crazy Eight, whatever you want to call these, these are the uh, the All Star Game joints, though, the best ones in my opinion. And uh, this is a slept on shoe, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, people didn't really rock with Adidas back then when these dropped, so you know people slept on these. You know and I'm saying Kobe was young, so you know it, I don't think people really was on them like that. But I just definitely want to add these to my collection. I'm surprised that. Adidas didn't really capitalize on, you know, Kobe's retirement and stuff. That they ain't re-release these or nothing. But, hey, that's cool. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Keep them more exclusive. You feel me? Because um, definitely a dope shoe in my opinion. So, let me know what you think about these down in the comment box. Did you pick these up when they dropped? I, say, I think they dropped, like I said, in 2011, maybe 2012. Don't quote me. But um, around that time frame, something like that. And, um... If you pick them up, do you like them? Uh, let me know what you like about the shoe. If you don't have them, I, I gave you guys a look. So you can, you know what I'm saying, leave me a comment down there. Let me know what you think about them. Let me know if you like them. And, uh, yeah, that's it. That's all I got for this video, man. Thanks for checking out the video. Yo, hit that subscribe button if you're a new viewer. I always appreciate the views. Yo, shout out to my new subscribers. Shout out to any new viewers checking out the channel, keeping up with the channel. And shout out to everybody who's been rocking with the channel. I always appreciate the support. Man, we're going to keep it moving. Yo, more videos to come, more pickups. Still got another pickup um, I got to put up on here. I just wanted to drop this real quick because um, I kind of got excited, man, after he hit that 60-point game. I ain't going to front, man. I, I thought that was dope. I watched that entire thing. And I just wanted to put this up on the channel. You know what I'm saying? A little random sneaker box, throwback, something like that. And, uh, yeah, that's it. So, uh, you guys stay tuned to the channel. And uh, like I said, man, more videos to come. In the meantime, you guys be cool. Always remember, copy what you like, not what they hype. Stay up. Peace.